Hello guys, my name is Akshay and I would like to welcome all of you to my YouTube channel Supply Chain Sensei. In this video, we'll be talking about one of the best practices in demand planning. So let us get started. So we are discussing demand planning and the best practices and I'll be talking about one of the very important aspect of being a good demand planner in this video and we'll be also discussing about one of the case study related to it before we get started if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe to more such content like this okay the name of today's best practice is the, the brutal truth now what has been seen in supply chain when you're working as a demand planner and uh, being a demand planner or for that matter any planner you have an update from different functions so being a planner you are kind of demand planner especially you are a central point for different functions and as a demand planner you may sometimes know what you know most of the times, not sometimes, you know what's happening into the market. You are also aware of what's happening behind the back in operations. Now, sometimes as a demand planner, you come to know about certain issue and an issue which may happen. There is some probability of happening. Uh, the issue may be in terms of operations, lack of capacity or we may lose certain customer in market or there is an issue which is likely to happen in uh, supply you you may have short supply of certain raw material so these are the different issues which you are aware which might happen in upcoming month upcoming cycle but the thing is you don't highlight it to the to the team to senior supply chain managers to the executive members in different forums like demand planning meeting or sales and operational planning meeting you don't highlight it and you wait it you wait to the last point or you anticipate or you expect that okay it may it may get resolved and you don't feel yourself comfortable to express or to highlight okay this is the problem hey team look that this is what is expected and this may happen we may lose here that we may lose additional capacity here we may have shortfall of certain raw material in certain area there may be an issue in logistics in, in terms of transportation and you do you tend to keep those problems with you and you expect okay it may get resolved on its own or the team is working to to get resolved or you don't want to highlight it to your uh, team members now the the problem with this attitude or not highlighting the brutal truth on time or not being transparent is at the later stage when the problem becomes very big and the other functions are they are quite underprepared to handle that problem and the impact that it leads to is very likely to be huge so what you need to do um, in such situations that highlight the problems as early as possible if you see any problem which uh, likely to happen in your supply chain highlight it to the team that here we expect the loss of sales here we don't expect this much to happen here we expect any uh, losses in terms of capacity anything you need to highlight it as early as possible and not just highlight highlight it into different forums highlight it into your demand planning meetings um, in your snop call in your executive reviews keep everyone informed that's very important yeah you need to keep everyone informed that this is what we are seeing and this is what may it may happen thirdly what happens when you keep everyone informed that everyone is prepared in case of something goes wrong in case the problem doesn't get resolved or it get worse so what happens that everyone is prepared and they are not caught by the problem unprepared or they are underprepared so everyone is anticipating okay this kind of problem is what may happen so they are kind of prepare mentally or they're in, they have kept their uh, 
uh, stakeholders informed okay hey this is what it it may happen and we need to be kind of prepared for this lastly don't shy away from telling the truth don't shy away as a demand planner you shouldn't you never you should never shy away uh, from telling the truth you should highlight to your executive uh, leadership team okay this is where we are seeing the problem and this is what may go wrong it is a very uh, important way of uh, working as a demand planner and also the leadership also is equally responsible in terms of creating an environment creating an ecosystem which ventilates and which uh, which gives room for such problems to be highlighted and to be openly discussed so that the full teams get prepared if the leadership team is too much dominating and they just bombard the demand planner whenever he or whenever any planner supply planner or any other planner highlights any issue then such environment such ecosystem uh, doesn't allow uh, the team members be it demand planner supply planner or anyone else to highlight the problem in the early stage if that's not happening uh, the, in the the situation would be in your organization that the problems they are coming out when they are when they are very huge and the 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 size of the problem the magnitude of the problem has become so big that it's very difficult to control now so the earlier you highlight earlier you highlight it's the better and don't wait for problem to get resolved on its own it's better to highlight the problem and not wait for it to reach a more critical stage now let me take you to a case study in which an organization which failed to highlight the brutal truth in advance which failed to accept the brutal truth in advance and they accepted it at a very later stage and they failed miserably because of that i am talking about a 2016 case study or 2016 issue with samsung um, in which the samsung galaxy note 7 was an highly anticipated smartphone release everyone was anticipating uh, this galaxy note 7 phone to be out soon and uh, there were there were launches planned there were reports and uh, what happened eventually when the phone was actually out that the devices started catching fire and they were exploding while being charged this was the issue so the samsung was facing now initially samsung didn't acknowledge the severity of the issue or highlight it they believed that the incidents were isolated and related to small number of faulty batteries however as more incident occurred and videos of burning phones circulated online the scale of the problem became apparent so here was the issue so initially when the these problems were coming the samsung didn't acknowledge it and they didn't acknowledge the severity of the issue and they didn't highlight the issue now since they were not transparent they didn't highlight the issue in advance and the truth was not spoken internally to the supply chain externally to the public it led to it led to a bigger problems instead of pro- proactively addressing the issue samsung attempted to manage it internally they conducted investigations issues related to limited recall of some devices however they did not effectively communicate the potential dangers to the public and provide clear instructions on what action consumer should take now here is an example where the company is not being not telling the truth to the public hmm, to the customer so what went wrong in this case so as a result the crisis escalated rapidly causing widespread panic and concern among customers reports of exploding uh, galaxy note 7 devices continued to surface even among the replacement devices issued during the recall of process and the problem escalated so much that airlines have to kind of ban the use of galaxy note 7 phone into the flights eventually samsung was forced to initiate a complete global recall there was a global recall of the product and uh, the production was stopped altogether the recall cost company billions of dollars and in lost sales not just it was not just loss of sales it was the loss of 
reputation as well so it resulted in a significant decline in uh, samsung market market share and created a long term setback of the brand so this this case study kind of demonstrates that when we don't highlight the issue in advance to supply chain then we in the later stage tackling that issue becomes a very difficult set so this was it about um, being transparent highlighting the truth highlighting the brutal truth to the team uh, as early as possible when you say it this is it for this lesson thank you and have a great day